Hi, I'm Joan Cartan Hansen, and welcome to Science Trek 360 Degree Immersive. You know, humans have been harvesting honey from bees for almost 8,000 years. Have you ever wondered how honey gets from the bee to the jar? Well, you're about to find out. Well, the bees do all the work. So they go out and visit the flowers, and they haul back nectar. Now, plants will have pollen and nectar, but the nectar is what comes home to be the honey. The nectar is stored in a honey stomach. A single bee can visit over a thousand flowers in a day. They haul it back and then they transfer it into one of the cells in their hive. In the process, there's enzymes mixed with it and it's put in there and they essentially fan it till it's the right moisture content. The average worker bee doesn't live very long, so there's a constant supply of bees being raised. And so they need a lot of food coming in to feed those new bees, to feed, to raise the young ones. So that pollen is the protein source for the babies. The nectar that comes in is their main source of food and energy. And when they have surplus nectar, they store it as honey. Bees build their wax cells with an angled slope so the honey sits in there and doesn't run out. Once the cell is full, the bees cap it off with wax. At the end of the season, beekeepers Kirk and Heidi Tubbs and their kids pull out the frames of honeycombed wax cells. Beekeepers wear special clothing to protect themselves from getting stung. Kirk leaves most of the honey in the hive so the bees will have plenty of food for winter. The rest goes off for harvesting. So this is just an uncapping knife. And if I go down this, you should be able to see that white wax on top and the honey underneath. Okay, they, they have hot knives to do this. This is just a cold knife. I'll take that so you can see it. And so this is an uncapping tank, which will allow some of this honey to drain out of here. Now, if there's anything I missed, we'll just scratch this, and this is just to break that wax capping. Otherwise, we can't get that honey out. Just spin that around, do the other side. From here, we'll put it inside the extractor. And we'll need to get enough in there to spin it out. And these are going in just like spokes of a wheel. We'll go ahead and start spinning this. Coming off? Yeah. Kind of like spider webs there. All right. We spun out a little bit of it. Let's see if it'll start coming. There it is. Slowly coming out. One twelfth of one teaspoon is produced in a honeybee's life. So if you were to look at your pinky, and you were to cover that with a drop of honey on top of your fingernail, that's about how much one bee will produce in its lifetime. So this is a lot of bees work right here. All right, there you go, from flower to bottle, right there. And that's it. Thank you very much to Kirk and Heidi and all the folks here at Tubsbury Farm for helping us out. If you want to learn more about bees, go to the Science Trek website. You'll find it at idahoptv.org slash science trek. Thanks for joining us for this Science Trek 360 degree immersive.